Voices in my head, they count to me, they understand, they talk to me. What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here, coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Elite Collection WrestleMania Heritage Randy Orton. What we're going to do now is take a little break, get him opened up, and then we'll go on to the rest of his review. So sit tight everyone. And so here we have Randy Orton posing out of the packaging. Now before we get on to the figure, let's actually go over his accessories. He does come with the WWE World Heavyweight title. Now I will point out he comes with a shorter version. Interesting that they actually switched it up on us and gave us the shorter WWE title. It's the same WWE title we've seen over and over again. There's nothing really too special about this mold, so I'll get that out of the way. And then he also does come with his entrance hoodie. It's not really a jacket, it's not a vest, it's a hoodie. And I really do like the details on the back of it, although you can see there are some paint blemishes on mine, which is a little unfortunate, but overall still really like it. Even see the little viper right there, and I love how all this is painted, even the laces. And then it is made of a softer rubber, so it can come off, although it's not quite the easiest thing to get off, but this is actually the first time I'm taking it off, so yeah, there we go, comes off. So with his accessories out of the way, let's actually go have a look at Randy Orton. And here we have a look at Randy Orton. Now, something I do want to point out is that this Randy Orton is actually using the new face tech, the face printing technology. So, it does look a little different from all your other WWE figures. However, I really like the fact that it looks more like Randy Orton. Uh, yeah, you can see that the beard is still painted, but you can see his mustache and his, uh, what is it, soul patch are actually, like, pixelated. Like, there's a dot matrix there. I really like that it looks more like Randy Orton than the cartoony ones that we've got in the past. To be fair, this is my first Randy Orton figure, so that is something to take note of. But you can see it looks so much cleaner than paint, and it was, what really wasn't hard finding one Randy Orton that I liked. I really loved all of the faces. It was just paint apps on the body that I was looking for. But speaking of which, you can see that Mattel did add all his tattoos here. You can see his tribal tattoo there, and then all the skulls going down his arm. And then we even have the quote right here, something about the lion being your enemy and he's coming to consume you. I actually forgot what the, line, what the actual dialogue was, but it is there. And you can see even his tribal tattoos are really present on here. I believe that's his daughter's name and something I'm a little disappointed in is that the rose isn't painted on his arm. Um, I really would have loved to see the red rose on his arm because that is something that stands out uh, amongst his tattoos. And then on the back we get his really tribal looking tattoo which looks really nice. He is wearing black trunks but you can see there is some detail right there. It is really dark and hard to see but he has some little accents right there and then on the back it says Orton and then he's not wearing any pants obviously but we do get his knee pads with his really long skinny lanky legs going down to his black boots. So overall really nice figure so what we're going to do now is get a quick comparison between Randy Orton and a few other figures. So here we have Randy Orton paired up with his WrestleMania 33 opponent, Bray Wyatt, and the WrestleMania Heritage Kevin Owens, and you can say they scale really well to each other. I just have my Orton's arms out for some reason. But loving the scale between them, and let's actually move them off so you can see. I really do like that they did scale Orton really well. He's tall, he's lanky, he's the way he should be, and I do like that. Loving the wrist wraps on him. So let's actually have a look at Randy Orton's articulation now. It is a standard elite articulation. If you're not sure what that is, let's go over it really fast. He does have a ball jointed head so he can look up. Can't really look down and he does have some slight head tilt. Head turns left and right. Arms on a ball joint go out to about that far. They do a full 360. 
Swivel at the bicep. He is single jointed at the elbow. Swivel and hinge at the wrist. He has an ab crunch which goes forward about that far. Back about that far. He has a waist swivel. Legs go forward, back, and out. Upper swivel in the thigh. He is double jointed in the knee. Swivels at the boot. Has a hinge in the ankle. As well as some pivot in the ankle. So overall really good articulation on Randy here. So what we're going to do now is take a little break. Get him posed for my final thoughts. And then we'll wrap up this review. So sit tight everyone. And here we have Randy Orton posed for my final thoughts. Overall I really do like the way this figure came out. Now if you are looking for the WrestleMania Heritage Randy Orton. Walmart is starting to get them in at the end cap. So if you are looking for this Orton. Be patient and he should be popping up in your Walmarts. I have seen him go on upwards of $80 on Amazon, which is outrageous for a figure that's going to get a mass release anyway. If you can actually find him at Walmart, I recommend you pick him up, especially if you're a Randy Orton fan like myself, or you just need a new Randy Orton figure. They haven't made Randy in quite some time, and I'm really glad we did get this figure. Overall, I love the paint apps, and really interesting that we got a smaller title with him, but if you can add this guy to your collection, I really recommend you do so. With that being said, guys, I'm King Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go check out all my other WWE figures as well as my other WrestleMania Heritage figures. I really hope you guys enjoy. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments and if it fits in my collection. I'll definitely have a look at it. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.